Yeah, hello YouTube. A uh, little something different here. Gonna kind of take my channel in another direction, kind of split off. Still gonna do the scrapping, but this is kind of scrap related and it's kind of not. It's a siphon nozzle for a waste oil burner. Gonna try to zoom in. I'll try to leave a link in the description for that siphon nozzle. Got it at Patriot Supply and you can get the nozzle and then the adapter individually and they do have some where it's grouped together. I'll leave a link for where it's grouped together. And it comes out with an 8 inch pipe, 8 inch pipe and went up here to a little needle valve and that's going to be my siphon hose. I just put the short piece in there. Everything's just kind of dry fitted together. I'm going to try to put it inside probably inside this tailpipe right here. You can kind of see the marks on it. So I'll cut it there. And uh, the nozzle here will be inside of the pipe and then I'll have to probably braise it when I come out to the top. So then from about here on up, we'll be on the outside. The uh, center valve right, right there, that's going to be a propane. So I can light it with propane. Again, pressure gauge. And then I'll have a needle valve back here and air, air coming in. So turn the propane on, light the end of the pipe, and then start giving it a little bit of air. And that'll get the uh, siphon going and start bringing some oil up into it. When the oil starts burning good, then cut the, you add more air, get more oil going. And when it gets burning real well, shut the propane off and should be able to, should be able to do it. You can see I got the uh, piece of pipe marked so that that will sit about there in the pipe. I want to leave, leave a little bit on the back in case I want to add a hair dryer or some forced air. i cut it just before it starts tapering down. It doesn't have to be too long. Then I'll probably have to put, some, put it on a little stand. And then one of the things I wanted to do is this tank here an old pressure tank with a three-quarter inch hole in the bottom. I'm going to try to put that on legs and cut it off just just below that bracket and that pipe. And then I'll probably cut it towards the top too to make a lid. And the plan is to be able to throw a uh, lawnmower motor in there and melt the aluminum off. And then the three-quarter inch hole in the bottom is where the molten aluminum will come out and into a, an ingot mold and which basically I'm going to kind of call it dirty aluminum because I won't be able to scrape the dross off so then uh, from there I'll take those ingots and put them into a crucible and put it in my little foundry that I've got out back I'll get, it, get that in another video um, working on a little crucible here I got a bottom welded onto it. I still need to weld a couple studs for the to pick it up with, and I'll probably get a link of chain or something welded onto to the bottom for for pouring. And uh, I'll try that one, and I'm going to try to make a, another one out of this out of that six inch. That's six inches diameter. It, cut it at about a foot tall. So, hopefully it won't be too heavy, but just with aluminum, shouldn't be too bad. Last week I didn't put out a video, I was busy cutting up a bunch of short iron. And I still got another pile here that I brought in. Cut it up. Of course, I'm kind of reluctant to take it in and sell it right now, the way prices are. Today I've been working on putting some doors up on this shed. Got the doors to the south built. And I still got to close in the the rafters up there 
try to keep some of the cold out of here. And then I still got the doors doors here to the north. Still got to cut them. Got some tin there and two by fours. I can probably zoom in on that little foundry I got. Hell, I don't know. Probably can't see it through the sun. But I'll get that in another video. If you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll uh, try to get a, another little shot of this. But go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll give you some updates as I get this going. Uh, tomorrow I may uh, go ahead and cut that pipe there and start try to drill the holes. If that pipe doesn't work, I have another piece. I thought about using this big heavy one here, but uh, kind of opted to go a little thinner. I got this one here, I could probably make one or two pieces out of a little thinner. But I thought about going a little bigger diameter, but uh, it doesn't have to be huge. Just try to get that down in the center, pretty close to center, drill the holes. That fits up in there, and uh, when I get it put together and get ready to do a test fire, I'll uh, create another video and let you know how it's coming along. And then uh, when I get ready to do a, a test melt, we'll see how long it takes to get it get it lit and get it going. I've got a uh, I don't have it out here. Got a coffee filter, one of the wire ones, wire basket. I'm going to try to use it to, to strain the oil in. I thought about, uh, I got a little bucket pump. I thought about trying to adapt a piece of half inch pipe onto it and uh, run it into an oil filter and then pump the oil through the, through the filter. See how that worked. Don't really want to clog the tip up. But if you're enjoying the video, go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'll try to get another video out. Oh later this next week for an update on this burner uh, I got a little bit of stuff here one thing I haven't done a video yet is these dishwashers with the plastic tubs a lot of scrap yards won't take them I know mine won't I've heard some people they fill them with metal and the scrap yard will take them that way there is a lot of wire up inside the door so I'll probably make a video on that tomorrow but I'm gonna try to get these other two doors built I gotta pick up a little fiberglass boat and trailer a little tandem axle trailer 13 inch wheels so I'm going to pull the wheels off of, off of that one and then I got two here that came off the trailer that are holding air they're a little dry rotted but I've only got to pull it about 20 miles so and I got my scrap pile over there I thought about going ahead and loading it up but I talked to a friend of mine he said uh, $40 a ton right now, so I thought, man, I don't know if I want to even waste the time loading it. I could use a little cash flow, but at least this isn't my main bread and butter. I got a few engine blocks over there, but three of them I want to put on the front of that trailer, and then uh, three of them I want to hang on to throw in the bucket of my tractor for smashing stuff. I got a bunch of gas tanks over there, and I got a couple barbecue grills, and then Put a little weight in the bucket where it'll come down a little harder. Hopefully smash them. But we'll talk to you later. I think this video is getting long enough. So happy scrapping. And if you're interested in this waste oil burner and uh, backyard foundry work, uh, I'll be starting a playlist for it. So see you next week. Bye-bye.